Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to make this easy Aztec Christmas tumbler. We are going to use some of the vinyl from our Brittany bundle with Gracefully Created. I did show you this in one of our previous tutorials, but I am going to show you these awesome patterns again because I am obsessed with this pack. <laughs> I say that every time, but I really love this Christmas one. Everything just goes together and I really love that it has two full white sheets in it, which means these are printed on a clear sheet of vinyl. However, the image itself has a layer of white in behind it, so you can put this on any surface, dark or light, and it's going to show up beautifully. And then we have four decals that are printed the exact same way to match all of this vinyl. This bundle will be released November 8th at gracefullycreatedccd.com and you can use code BBB10 to save 10% off of your bundle order. For this design, we are using a 16 ounce hyped koozie from the Steel Magnolia. I'm actually going to use a small lid instead of the koozie lid for this because I feel like it'd be the perfect like hot chocolate cup or something while you're watching your Christmas movies in the afternoons. I love this so much about the Steel Magnolia tumblers. Not only are they incredible quality, but you can also interchange the lids to just customize it even more for your customers. So if you didn't catch that, we are using the 16 ounce hyped koozie. And rather than the cozy lid, I'm going to be using the small lid they have listed in their lids and accessories section on their website. Now, I originally had planned to do two different colors of glitter on this tumbler, so I cut out a little piece of that Aztec print first, and then I was like, no, I want to do the whole cup in this really pretty cream color. So I grabbed my Latte Color Fix paints from my Color Flex collection. And since this is a paint primer and adhesive all in one, we're going to give this one nice even first coat. I'm going to dry that up with a low setting on my heat gun. And then we're going to add in a second coat and use that to apply our glitter. Now, when using this paint to apply your glitter, you don't want to do a very thick coat. If you do a thick coat, your glitter can sink down into the paint and the paint can sort of take over. So you won't have as much shimmer to your glitter as you would as if you had did a thin coat of paint and it was sitting on top. So we're gonna go in with a very thin second coat and I'm immediately going to grab my glitter so we can apply it while that paint is still wet. We're going to be using Virginish from PDB Creative Studio. This is a absolutely stunning off-white glitter. This glitter does have tons of little tiny pearly particles in it, so you want to make sure that you're not using it around a fan going, or if you can help it, you can go outside and use it so you don't have little glitter sparkles floating around your room for the next week. But regardless, it is so worth it because it is beautiful. So after that dried, I gave this two coats of epoxy, sanding in between those coats so I have a nice and smooth surface to apply my decals to. I'm just going to double check that this piece is going to fit in the section that I want it to. I want plenty of room for my decal to fit up above this piece. So once I have 
recheck that, I'm going to cut off a little piece of the backing from my decal. That way we can use the hinge method once we have this lined up on our tumbler. Press that exposed piece down and then as we are pressing the decal down, we're going to work the back off on our way around the tumbler. Once you have made your way around, just slightly overlap your decal and grab a craft knife. Trim right up along that seam. If you need to grab a piece of tape to lay it down to make sure that you get that seam straight, then by all means, put that piece of tape down. The only reason I was getting this straight is because we have some pretty detailed lines on here and I could eye it and use that as a guide. So once you have cut your seam, you're going to remove the excess on top, lift it up just a hair, and then remove the excess underneath as well so you get a nice and smooth flat seam. Then make sure that all of the pieces are pressed down really well, especially around the bottom rim of the tumbler. As you can see, I didn't go all the way down to the bottom it's a hair above that bottom rim and then we're going to grab our decal I'm going to put it on the opposite side of the seam so the seam is on the back side and we're just going to apply this using the hinge method just as we did the bottom decal Once you have your decal on, it is ready for your final coats of epoxy. I always apply two coats of epoxy on top of my decals. This may only appear that it needs one coat, but I want to make sure that my decals are extra protected. And using the Artistry 1 to 1 ratio facet epoxy, where I can apply that second layer after just 30 minutes of curing for the first layer, really helps me speed up the process on those final two coats. I hope that y'all enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. All of the materials that I have used will be listed in the description as well as coupon codes for y'all. We have lots of giveaways going on and more to come for the holidays, so make sure that you are part of our Brittany Barnes Boutique Tumblr Art Facebook group and that you are following us on Instagram and subscribed to our YouTube channel so that you have all opportunities to win one of the prizes that we will be giving away, including one of these bundles. Thank you for hanging in there with me with my crackly voice. That is all for today. Thank you all so much, and we will see you next time.